And also tonight, Norman City leaders hoping money will motivate people there to roll up their sleeves and get the vaccine. But that plan not even getting a vote tonight, and another to encourage masks, sparking a fiery debate. News Force Kaitor K is live in Norman tonight. Kaitor. Yeah, a couple of COVID resolutions were brought up tonight. The first for the city of Norman to strongly encourage residents to follow CDC guidelines, including wearing masks and getting the vaccine. That passed tonight, 7 to 2. Then came the discussion of the city paying residents to get the vaccine. Norman City Council's idea to get a grip on COVID incentivize residents to get the vaccine with cash. Pandemic. We are in the middle of a pandemic. It was tapering off, it's coming back up, and we have to do something to help try to taper this back down. A proposal was put forth tonight for the city to set aside $500,000 of federal funding for a vaccination incentive program. $475,000 in gift cards for anyone who gets a vaccine after the program launched. And a single $25,000 grand prize for anyone who gets the vaccine or has already gotten it. Many at tonight's council meeting weren't fans of the idea. I am opposed to spending any money at all to incentivize the vaccines. The people that aren't vaccinated at this point don't want to be. That's our choice, our decision. Some opponents expressed that those federal dollars could be better spent elsewhere. Others wanted to vet out the legality of the program, wondering if it was legal to limit who could get the incentives or if only businesses could fund such a program. But I am an attorney. It would seem like it is illegal unless it is a merchant that is donating these funds, not tax dollars that are coming in through this program. The resolution was ultimately tabled until a future meeting. The city attorney was present at tonight's meeting, and she says that the incentive program is legal. The proposal will be brought back up at a future meeting set for September 14th. Live in Norman, Kaitor K, Oklahoma's News 4.